Hi everyone, this is the second lesson from your first week of home learning and we're going to start our maths lesson today by singing the number bonds rhyme, so please join in from home. One and nine, two and eight, one and nine, two and eight, one and nine, two and eight, three and seven, number pairs that make ten, number pairs that make ten. Four and six, five and five, four and six, five and five, four and six, five and five, three and seven. We're number pairs that make ten. Number pairs that make ten. For more songs, games, and original story. Okay, so we're going to be using those number bond facts for one of these questions and some questions later in the lesson. So to start off with our retrieval questions today, the first one is four, six, what comes next? Think about how much that is counting in. The second one is how much of this shape is coloured? Think about how many parts out of the total number of parts are coloured. The answer will be a fraction. This one, one half of six, Equals, think about how many equal groups you need to share 6 into. And 8, add what makes 10. That's a number bonds question you should be familiar with. OK, I want you to pause this video and give yourselves 5 minutes to try and complete these 4 questions. OK, let's go through the answers. So the first one, 4, 6... I think it's counting in twos, isn't it? Two, four, six. The missing number is eight. On the second question, how much of the shape is coloured? Well, there is one part coloured out, out of a total of two parts. So that makes one half. That's the fraction that is coloured. On the third one, one half of six. We know that one half is one of two equal parts. So if we make two boxes and share six dots between them, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then because it was one half, just count one of the parts, there are three dots. So the answer to a half of six is three. And the last question, eight add what equals ten? You should know from the number one song, but if not, put eight in your head. And count on with your fingers. So 8, 9, 10. I've used two fingers. So that's the bond that goes with 8 to make 10. Okay. So today in fluency, we're going to do some more number bonds. Okay, they're all going to be number bonds that make 10. So I'm going to write the first one down. Something, add... 4 equals 10. So if you look at this number sentence carefully, we're trying to make 10. We know that we've already been given 4 and we need the bond that goes with it to make the 10. What we're going to do is put 4 in our heads and then use our fingers to count on to 10 and see how many fingers we use. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hopefully you can see that I've used six fingers. So that's the missing number in the number bond sentence. Six add four makes ten. And the next question says, remember to miss a line in your book. Something add three equals ten. So I'm going to put three in my head and count on to ten. Three in my head, four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is seven. Seven add three makes ten. Okay, and the next one. At school, you'd be telling me how to do this one. So something add two equals 10. Can you tell your parent what we're trying to make? 
and how much have we already got? So let's put that number in our head and then count on to 10. So touch your head and say two, get your fingers ready. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is the missing number. Eight add two equals 10. And number four says something add nine equals 10. I wonder if you know from your number bond song, what is it? Nine and, okay, let's put nine in our head to check. Nine, count on, 10. It was one, one add nine equals 10. Okay, this is the worked example that I'd like you to put in your book. So write W-E, something add zero equals 10. Remember when you're writing it in your book, you need to put one digit in each square. So the one and the zero should be in separate squares. Okay, let's work it out. We'll do it this one together. Put zero in your head and then start counting on with your fingers to get to 10. Ready, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many fingers have you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten. Ten add zero equals ten. Okay, you've now got all of these questions to be doing on your own. Parents can help if you get really stuck, but remember each question, all you need to do is put the first number you're given in your head and count on until you get to 10. And however many fingers you've used when counting on, you put that in the missing number for your answer. Okay, if you pause the video on these questions and give yourselves about 10 minutes to do as many as you can. Off you go. Okay, let's go through some answers then. Hopefully you've got a blue pen. If you haven't, you can still just use any pen or pencil to mark your work. So number one, the answer is three add seven makes 10. Question two, six add four makes 10. Question three, zero add 10 equals 10. Question four, nine add one equals 10. Question five, eight add two equals 10. Question six, seven add three equals 10. Question seven, five add five equals 10. Question eight, two add eight equals 10. Question nine, four add six equals 10. And question 10, one add nine equals 10. Okay, we're going to move on to our skills part of the lesson now. Before we start, we need to remember what a quarter is. A quarter is one of four equal parts. Can you say that with me? A quarter is one of four equal parts. Now you tell me, what's a quarter? Okay, so you could write the title in your book, Quarters and WE for the worked example. You can pause the video while you do that. Okay, so we're going to do a method of working out one quarter that we've done before. If you remember, one quarter is one of four equal amounts. So in my book, I have got four boxes to make my four equal parts. Okay, so I'm going to draw that on my whiteboard as well. You can draw them in your book when you get to the questions you're going to do. So I'm going to write out the question first. One quarter of 12 equals... Then I'm going to do my four boxes. When you do it in your book, 
See if you can make sure you go across two squares, down two squares, across two squares, up two squares, just like we've done at school. Okay, so I've got my four boxes ready. One quarter of 12. So first of all, I'm going to make 12 dots, sharing them equally between the four boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then because the numerator on this fraction is a one, that told me that I only need one of the four parts. So I can circle one of the boxes and just count the dots in there to find my answer. One, two, three. So one quarter of 12 equals three. Okay, we're going to move on to the second question that I'm going to show you. It's my question two, it says one, quarter of 16 equals. I'm going to make my four boxes again. And this time I'm doing one quarter of 16, so I need to make 16 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm having a quick look. Yes, it looks like every box has got the same number in it, which is good. I need to share them fairly. I need one quarter of 16. The numerator is one, so I only need to count the dots in one of those four squares. And that's one, two, three, four. So one quarter of 16 is four. Okay, moving on to the third example. This is the one that if you were at school, you'd be telling me how to do. I wonder if you can pause the video and tell your parent how to do it. Then I'll go through it. Okay, so it says one quarter of four. I've made my four boxes because a quarter has four as a denominator. There are four equal parts. I want a quarter of four, so I'm going to make four dots shared equally. One, two, three, four. The numerator is a one, so I only need to count the dots in one of those squares. There's just one. So one quarter of four equals one. Oop. Okay, so let's do our worked example together. So in your book, can you write WE if you haven't already done it? Then one quarter of 12 equals, remember each digit needs to be in its own square. Okay, underneath that then in your book, can you make your four boxes that are each two squares wide and two squares tall? Okay, then if we read it, it says one quarter of 12 equals, so we're going to do 12 dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, we only need one part of it because the numerator is one, it's asking for one quarter. So let's circle and count the dots in one of those boxes. One, two, three. A quarter of 12 equals three. Okay, so now here are some questions for you to do in your book. Okay, make sure you give yourselves 15 to 20 minutes to do this. Of course, if you finish quicker, you can carry on with the video. If you want to pause it while you do these, and then I'll go through the answers. Okay, so let's look at the answers. Use a blue pen if you've got one. If not, just use your pencil. One quarter of eight equals two. Number two, one quarter of four equals one. Number three, 
1 quarter of 16 equals 4. Number 4, 1 quarter of 20 equals 5. Number 5, 1 quarter of 28 equals 7. Number 6, 1 quarter of 24 equals 6. And number 7, 1 quarter of 32 equals 8. Okay, and that's the end of the second lesson. I hopefully see you again tomorrow for the next lesson. Keep up the good work. Bye.